next question is a ball is dropped vertically from a height t at t equal to 0 above the ground and bounces up vertically to the height d by 2. Neglecting subsequent and motion and air resistance, find plot the velocity displacement graph as well as velocity time graph. So the question is if you have a one ball here and you are dropping ball with the height d. Your height is a given d and initial velocity is a 0. Okay. Now plot the velocity and displacement graph and after rebound, okay, after rebound it will go d by 2. So it will reach here and again velocity becomes 0 after second rebound. Okay. So now how to plot the velocity and displacement graph. So now we just draw the velocity here in the y axis and displacement in x axis. So at because you have to assume that this is the distance is 0 here s yes, equal to 0. So at when you start actually here u equal to 0 at this point. Suppose this is the point d I am choosing this is a d point. Okay. So the here velocity is a 0. So now we have one point. What about the velocity when you reach at this point? You know the formula. If the ball is a following, so when it reach at this point, what is the velocity? So you know the v square equal to u square plus 2 g h and v u is given 0, so 2 g and d. So the velocity at this point when it reach at this point under root 2 g d, but you know velocity is a vector quantity. So now we have to write minus 2 g d because this direction is a minus and this direction you have to take plus, it is very important. So you know the velocity will be minus 2 g d and what is the velocity and distance look like a parabola because v square equal to 2 g d. So if you plot you know if reach the velocity at this point velocity will be under root 2 g d with minus sign. Okay. So first initial point you have 1 here and when d equal to 0, d equal to 0 here that time velocity you have minus minus 2 g d. I know that this is the parabola so you have to draw like this. Okay. This is the we have first graph when it strike the ground. After that, after that, just after the strike, because given so it is going bounce at the d by 2, it means velocity is becomes half. Sometimes they will give exactly same height, it means velocity is a if you during a strike is a velocity is a v after rebound, velocity will be v if going in the same height. But now here is a given half height, it means velocity will be the half. But now after a strike velocity after a strike this will be v by 2 but in the positive direction because now direction is a reverse in this way. So now we have to write under root 2 g d by 2 and when velocity at highest point like second highest point after rebound again velocity will be 0. So now so at the same time okay you can see velocity will be here half under root 2 g d by 2 okay and we, when it read at d by 2 like here okay because it is not going to d height in between it is going to a stop. So now we have to plot like this this will be also parabola not a straight line okay. So this is a plot you have sometime they will give exactly d height then what you have to do? Then you can plot like this, you know initial is a d is a given that time velocity is a 0. Now it will become like this strike at this point the velocity will be 2 g d minus just after a strike the velocity exactly if you are going d height. So the velocity will be 2 g d and then again it is at the highest point sorry at the highest point the again velocity will be 0. 
okay so this graph you have okay now find the velocity and time graph so how to plot velocity and time graph for this so the given ball you are dropping at t equal to 0 velocity is a given 0 and when rebound here so time will take under root how to find so s equal to ut plus half a t square so now distance is returning minus d u equal to 0 plus half a is a minus g because g is acting always in downward direction so the t equal to 2d by g so in, at 2d by g ball reach at this point okay that time what about the velocity velocity will be same under root 2g d with minus sign okay after rebound now come to the point after rebound okay velocity suppose that is going exactly half okay i am going to the half distance so the velocity will be just after rebound 2g d by 2 with positive sign okay so then again it will go and stop somewhere okay of course in the distance d by 2 so what about the time again you have to calculate the time for s equal to ut plus half a t square this to this point i am going so suppose that d by 2 u equal to given 2 g d root by 2 t minus half g t square so now you can calculate the t from here okay but if you plot this one so this is a t and this is the velocity so when t equal to 0 because ball is dropping here t equal to 0 velocity is 0 so this is the point you have and how to write equation v and t so v equal to u plus a t so v equal to now for this u equal to 0 a g a equal to minus g and t so you can see slope is a minus g so this will come like this and this is a straight line v t graph is a straight line so this time will be under root 2 h by d so this is the first you have and then after rebound okay with well, this time is a very very small so but if you zoom it you cannot draw exactly a straight line so slightly will be tilt here so now velocity becomes half so this velocity is a minus 2 g d by 2 but this velocity you have to take like plus first of all and sorry here will be not mine okay so this velocity will be 2 because after rebound it is going half distance up and then again you have to go because slope is almost everywhere same okay you have to calculate the time and you have to plot like this this is the way you can plot the vt graph so see in the this is the velocity distance graph okay and what about the velocity time graph this will be the straight line first of all here okay and then go like this and this is always parallel this line and this line will always parallel next question is a, a particle is moving with velocity v equal to c y i cap plus x j cap so the particle moving in the x y direction where c is a constant then find the general equation for its path so here you can write v equal to c y i cap plus x j cap and you know velocity is given in two dimension so now you can write general equation for the velocity like v x i cap plus v y j cap then now you can write c and x into j so in this equation you can compare the i and j component i and j component so the coefficient of i is here v x this equal to c y and coefficient of j 
is a velocity of y direction and you can write c x. Now what you have to do, you can write here because this is a velocity in x direction. So you can write dx by dt this equal to c y and velocity in y direction you can write dy by dt this equal to c into x. Now if we differentiate again here, so d square x by dt square this will be c and y you can write dy by dt and dy by dt you can put cx. So this becomes c square x. Similarly, if we take derivative of this d square y by dt square then this will come c dx by dt and dx by dt as we know this is c y. So this will come c square y. So, so you can write d square y by dt square this equal to c square y and d square x upon dt square that equal to c square x. You know the solution here if you differentiate like a y equal to e to the power c another sorry some c1 constant or no sorry c you have already so c into t plus some constant k1. So you can differentiate here if you differentiate then c into e to the power c t and then if you differentiate twice then it becomes c a square and e to the power t. Here also you can write similarly x equal to e to the power c t plus another constant k2. Now you can see x and y almost you have similar equation. So if you go like y square minus x square this will be constant because both have same solution. So now you can subtract with a square this will give you the constant value. So the answer is a y square equal to x square plus constant that is a c. So next question is the graph of the displacement versus time is given in this figure. What is the graph? Can you uh, so the plot the graph? Okay, just delete no problem. <coughs> Delete. Okay. So now the question is a the graph of the displacement time is a shown in figure. So its corresponding velocity time graph will be. Now see displacement time graph, you know the displacement and time graph s equal to u t plus half a t square. Okay. For the constant a is showing parabola and quadratic equation. Parabola you can see here displacement and time graph but you know velocity and time graph is always linear so this is an important point okay and now here find in this so take one point here at time t1 and take another point t2 and just draw the slope, draw the tangent so tangent will give ds by dt this equal to tan theta and you know ds by dt will velocity at time t1 okay so you can see this is suppose theta 1 and this is the theta 2 and you can see here velocity uh, sorry angle is decreasing so angle is decreasing it means velocity is decreasing so if you are going this point a point to b point velocity is decreasing okay here it will be zero velocity will be zero because slope will be zero degrees so first velocity is a decreasing okay from a to b okay and at b velocity will be zero at b velocity will be zero and b to c if you go b to c again if you take two point here this point at this point so now you can see the angle is a angle is a increasing but the question is a this angle is a more than greater than 90 degree. So if you have greater than 90 degree and theta is increasing then tan theta will decrease. So in the overall you have sorry in the overall if you have a displacement time graph and like this so acceleration is a less than 0. So it means velocity is a continuously decreasing. So how to plot graph? So you know initial velocity is a positive 
and then it will be 0 somewhere and then it will decrease and we have to plot a straight line because velocity equal to u plus a t and a is less than 0. So, a is less than 0 that is a slope will be negative so, because a is a negative. So, you can see slope will be more than theta is a theta is a greater than 90 degree. So, now this is the velocity time graph. Okay. Sometimes they will ask like this, this is the also displacement time graph. So, in this case a is a greater than 0. So, if you plot v equal to u plus a t. So, now a is a greater than 0. So, what about velocity time graph? So, initial velocity is a positive or we, anywhere actually we do not know about this but you can see here if you draw we do not know the initial point but if you you take here you see more than 90 will be the negative so you can go like this so this will be linear and always increasing so velocity will increase this is an important point if you have given displacement time graph in the upward parabola in this case a is a greater than 0 throughout from here to here so velocity will increase so the velocity time graph will be first of all a straight line linear with increasing. 